Welcome to another episode of SellMyComicBooks.com Vintage Comic Book Unboxing. I'm Ashley Cotter Cairns. I'm not wearing a superhero t-shirt and my selfie camera is broken so I'm not going to get on camera today. What I'm going to do is walk you through this new collection. I got, uh, actually it was delivered to me this morning which is really cool which means I didn't even have to leave my house to get a bunch of comic books. This stuff over here is the, the reject pile. Um, basically a bunch of mad magazines, some other random stuff. Ugh, you know, that heat flip and um, digest size stuff. Some arches in the bottom there, I'm not even going to show you. Some of the modern arches up here. Turtles, arches, turtles, some French stuff, some water damage stuff. So this is all the crap, basically. I think there's a whole bunch more arches digest in there. The good stuff is over here. So we have Fantastic Four number 52. This is the first print of Black Panther. Um, most of the key issues in this collection are in the sort of good to fine range. So they're, sorry, good to very good range. So they're in the sort of three to 3.5 range. This is, uh, actually I've never read this book before. So I sat down at lunchtime and read this. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's nice to have. Puppet Master, badly damaged the bottom. Looks like water damage. It's more like a 1.0. We've got some early stuff. Oh, Silver Age. Oh, great stuff. We love Silver Age. Oh, there's the first Inhumans cover. Black belt on the cover there. FF46. This is probably a bit nicer. This book always seems to be nicer than the rest of the run. I don't know why. Unfortunately, the Silver Surfer covers are not here. The uh, FF48 is not here. 50 is here. This one's a bit of a beater. Still, I'll take these all day long. It's not in order, so. Got FF39, FF61. What's that? FF. I can't read and hold the camera at the same time. 57, 58, 59. That's a cool cover. So on. And we got some annuals. Bunch of junk there. I mean, it's, it's not quite as junk as the junk that's over there, but it's it's not worth showing you. Now, here's a book that's coming up. Metal Men number one. Metal Men seems to be quite a bit of speculation about this. There's going to be a Metal Men movie. So this book and their first appearance in Showcase 37 is, is kind of warmish. Wouldn't call it hot. Uh, so I think this is just a random pile of Silver Age. Hang on a second. So we have the Metal Men stuff. Then we have. Journey to Mystery with a Torn Corner, Coverless, Coverless, and a decent copy of 125, which is the last of the Journey to Mystery run. This one, spot grade about a six. This is anything bad going on the back. Nope, it's about a six, quite nice. That's 127, 129. I don't think 132 is here, unfortunately. That's gone. Maybe, oh, no. What did I say? The first living planet. There's a bit of a tear here. I think you can see that. Um, where's my finger now? There. Just above my finger now, there's a tear going right into the, in the spine of the cover. It's a bit unfortunate. We've got a nice little stack of thaws there. Then we go switching into uh, I think it's TTA. Uh, there's no keys in the TTA run except for the first giant man, which is... No, that's not here. It's the giant man. Hulk cover. This is the one where the Hulk starts to uh, feature alongside Giant Man. And there's a run because there's no there's no key issues left in this stack. No number 93 or anything like that. So I won't bother you with those. Now here we get into the good stuff. This is pre-hero tales of suspense. There's a couple of those, and then what everyone wants to see when they're going through a stack of tales of suspense. TOS 39. First Iron Man. I've counted the pages, it's all complete. This one has a bit of a rough spine, and then you can see that on camera here. I'm not going to take out the bag. There's a bit of a bit damaged on the spine there, just there. I still think it's a solid three. It might get a three five on a good day, it's got some damage at the bottom. But this is a there is a name on the front cover. But honestly, it's actually quite a clean copy for a lower grade copy. It's got nice 
un, uh, undisturbed artwork on the front, the, the three panels on the side and the, the main eye manganese, there's no long creases and no big stains on it. So considering it's lower grade, it's actually quite a decent copy. There's a tape pull there. Then we've got the second appearance of Iron Man, first gold armor, number 40. This one is about the same grade, it's got a nasty bit of damage on the bottom right corner there, but it is there. And when it's pressed, that'll come out. Uh, it won't get rid of the damage, but it will make it lay flat. This one's also got a little piece turned up there that will press that down as well. And some later TOS. I don't know the Iron Man origin issue is here, I don't think so. There's a bunch of the sort of ten, twenty dollar stuff under here, you know. First appearance of Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, Strange Tales 135. This book always seems to have a diagonal crease from here up to here. Always. I don't know why. It must have been printed that way. Seriously though, we always get this in like a VG shape, and this is exactly what we expect to see this book in. There's a few others, um, but then because these aren't in order. This is actually the first Captain America Silver Age appearance. And uh, this book is warming up nicely. I think oh, there's a bit of damage at the staple there. It might even be rusty. Nobody really realized that this book was the first Silver Age appearance cap. They always thought Avengers 4 was the first uh, Silver Age appearance cap. But this is like a, almost like a cap tryout return issue. Uh, there's a couple more there. But no other early ones. No, Doctor Strange, but talking of Avengers 4, here's another great book to find in a collection like this. This is actually a quite a clean copy again. This, this collection all seems to be well read, so definitely nowhere near fine or anything like that, but clean and complete. All the pages are present. There's no huge creasing. There's a little bit of damage in the bottom left corner there. That'll press flat. A few stains at the top there, in the back, and a nasty sort of thumb print down there. It's probably someone's old lunch or something. But still, considering this is a lower grade example, it's a really nice copy and it will do well for the grade. It's probably a 3.5, might get a 4. There is a crease running through the word Avengers there. You see that? And then there's Avengers number 5. Those are the big books from this collection. There's still plenty of great stuff here. If you're a Daredevil fan, there's some early Daredevil. Oh, there's a late one there. What's that doing there? That should be a jump pile. Sorry, Daredevil fans, but Daredevil 291 in fine is not worth putting to one side. So you've got some Silver Age Daredevils there. And they're all in about the same condition. It's all the original owner. Finally, a stack of X-Men. The earliest one is uh, number 11. It's kind of a cool cover, and this book is actually more like a very good plus, I'd say, sort of four or five-ish, and there's something really bad going on with that, no. A couple of tape, uh, tears on the staple there. This is a really decent copy of this book. It's worth a couple of hundred bucks in this, this condition. <clears throat> and then we've got some more X-Men here. In the sort of teens to 20s, 23, that's really badly scuffed up there. We don't happen to that. 24, 25, nice little run here. It's the first Banshee there. 26, 27. Yes, first Banshee, number 28, but in this condition, it's probably worth about 40, 50 dollars. 29 and 30. And then a 203, just randomly thrown in there. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our videos if you don't already. And if you want to see many more cool unboxing videos, go to YouTube slash Sell My Comic Books and you'll find dozens and dozens of, of ones, including um, collections which cost tens of thousands of dollars and there's some real cool stuff on there. So please click like, share, subscribe, get the word out. Let's get as many people seeing these videos as possible. Thanks very much and we'll talk to you again.